Alright, let's go. Let's go. What time is it? I think it's half past five. Quite time on this street right now, I think. Yeah. We can set up a banner. <laughs> Watch Land of Hope and Glory. How do you feel about this? I've got mixed feelings. I've been to so many now, so I'm pretty experienced with uh, bearing witness, so I know what to expect. How was it the first time then? First time, I didn't really have time to, you know, think about how I felt. Mm. It was really quick. Uh, first time I was affected by it though, sad, you feel helpless, but you feel empowered to do something. Bearing witness is full on for activists and vegans to see. For sure. Because well, it makes them. It's another level of reality for them. Welcome to this service for Shenfield. We will be calling at Stratford, Maryland. Are you going to work as well? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do this every day. Didn't finish till, what, 9 p.m. last night? 10? Beautiful day. The dark underbelly. Got a taxi there. So what are you guys up to today? Um... We're actually going to a slaughterhouse vigil. Um, we stop the, uh, well what they do is they stop the trucks for two minutes, they've got an agreement with the slaughterhouse and then they take photographs of the animals and um, I send them out to the public. And mm -hmm. They've been running there for, a, I think they've been running there for a few years now, about three, four years. Yeah. But it's, yeah. So they've been there for five days, it's a five day vigil. This is the last day, so I thought I'd just go down there, boost a bit of morale. Um, the police are always cooperative, the slaughterhouse are already cooperative, the truck drivers are always co cooperative at this one, so... Yeah. yeah there should be, uh, you, we should see a group of, um, yeah. people. like a group up there on the left. Yeah, that's possibly them, I think, the no, slaughterhouse. No, no. There's the police, yeah, so we're in the right place. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, take care. See you, bud. No, I feel good, ready for the day. That's, um, that's the gates of the slaughterhouse just there. The police have arrived. One. Two. How are you? Yeah, we're good. You've been here for the whole five days, have you? Yep. Wow. Yeah. It's been good. And it ha every everything's run well? Yeah, really smooth. Yeah. Cool. These are the sows I was talking about. Breeding sows and they take them here to end their life. After they've been exploited for all their piglets. It's the saddest thing seeing those mothers come in. They're just broken. They're more broken than the others because they've been around longer. Experience more suffering. Experience a farrowing crate. Experiencing so much trauma in prison like that. That's their gift, a gas chamber. Maybe they do just kill younger ones. Yeah, I'm screaming, no. Yeah. Isn't she? Must be rounding them up. This isn't a gas chamber. No, it's electrical stunning. Okay, yeah, it's electrical stunning. It's not a gas chamber. Yeah. Seems to open to having a conversation here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting speaking to a lot of the vehicles that we stopped. Yeah. Um, they wasn't aware of anything, so if you're trying to raise awareness, it's yeah. obviously working for. Okay. Yeah. We do speak to people and explain why. why yeah. It's about the social media thing as well, because we all got, we share the videos online and it reached thousands of people, so that's, that's the effect of these. Yeah. And we can live without it. I've been vegetarian since I was 14 and vegan for 23 years. Oh. Yeah. You're not dead. No protein. Dead. These days. Fit and healthy. You can hear them. Yeah. yeah, they must be going in. So electrical stun, stab in the throat here. And people try to contest with me about animals being stabbed in the throat. Oh, you're being, you know, animated, you're being sensational. It's like, no, they're literally stuck with a knife in their jugular to drain them of blood. It smells horrible. There's only a couple in there. You just tell where they've been feeding their piglets is all like, just, they've just used them up, you know, and they just look defeated. Sows have always suffered longer and 
prolonged exploitation. They're just dead in their eyes. This is this place here will end their suffering. It's just horrible. We put them through that suffering to begin with. Pigs are the hardest animals to control because they have such a good intuition. Uh, they're the most highly anxious animals and they can smell the distress in the other animals. So if an animal has been in there and left urine, um, the other pigs know that it was fear-based response from the other animals. So when they go in there, they sense it. And the lady who actually told me that was the slaughterhouse owner that gave me the tour. She said, we try to spray off with water the the urine that the pigs leave because the other pigs will know that there's something going to happen. So she said it was a welfare thing, she didn't want the other pigs to be afraid when they walked in there. But they've got such a heightened sense of smell, these pigs, that even if you sprayed water over it, they still know. They can still smell it. After each truck had taken the animals to their brutal death, we stood there in silence to pay our respects and to reflect. I can only imagine what those animals are going through in there. As we stood there silently, you could hear the screams of those childlike animals in the background begging for mercy, helplessly calling out in desperation as they meet their violent demise on the blood-soaked kill floor of this countryside slaughterhouse. See they're all packed in to each other, about six months old. Well, puppies, one of the way, eh? One of the way, the way, the way. <coughs> Just shit all over them as well, eh? Just one out of the road, mate. Yeah. Go ahead, mate. Hands are just, like if you touch a small, like their snout or something, they're just covered in the most putrid excrement. And pigs have a very heightened sense of smell. A horrible existence, you know, living in their own feces, slaughtered in their own blood. Like this place here is built for one reason, to dismantle, dismember, murder as many animals as possible. It's a sick, sick place. Like their mentality is no different to the mentality of like war criminals, where they're like, how can we murder as many beings as possible in the most efficient way? That's what these facilities are, they're just efficient murder factories. No different to our switch, gas chambering human beings, 
The idea was to kill as many sentient beings as possible. Your food screamed and begged for their lives. And people, people ridicule us, yeah. like we're the weird ones, like we're, you know. Yeah. All individual little faces, you know. Different characters, different personalities. See these ones? Well, there's heaps all bunched up in there. Little dogs. They look like dogs. This one's got blue eyes. So their eyes are so similar to ours, eh? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of human traits, isn't there? Are they using for heart transplants that they're aware of? Yeah. 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 It's crazy. No wonder it's such a high top. Look, feces all over the face. Hello, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Look at this shy little baby here. I'm terrified. They're so small, these ones, eh? They were really little, those ones. The little babies. So they will go home and eat bacon. Hopefully their conscience is saying something, you know. All these people here paying for this place to exist. They go to the comfort of their own home and eat the ham sandwich and don't even think twice about it, you know. Is this your first uh, slaughterhouse vigil? I came here on Tuesday. Okay. And that's my first one. Wow. Yeah. And here comes another truck. This is probably about the fifth truck, I think, for today. The shutter. The shutter. I might be able to reach up. Keep their face in, it's for the length. Little baby pigs in there. They're going into this place here. This truck here, they're going in there to be murdered. This place behind us only exists to, to dismember, dismantle and hack up into pieces as many sentient beings as possible. Do you love bacon? She said, I love meat. Her lips mouthed the words, I love meat. How sick. How can you look at those pictures of those animals and smell the excrement of these pigs and say, I love meat? I don't know. It's probably a defense mechanism. She wouldn't love to stand on a slaughterhouse and watch them drown in their own blood, that's for sure. Oh. You hear the screams of these animals in there. Screaming animals. How was that food? So you've been coming here for three years and today it's just hit you harder and you, you have harder days. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there are ups and downs all the time, but like, I don't know, just today in particular, it just seems particularly bad. Yeah, I guess it depends what we're doing as well. I mean, when we're doing outreach, I feel fine because that's really positive. We're actually seeing people change right yeah. now. But just when we're here, we feel so fucking helpless, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we can't actually physically intervene, but we can still make impact with pictures video and they keep rolling in and it doesn't seem like the demand is changing but it definitely definitely is yeah absolutely all right brother thanks for your work man i know you've been a you too, dedicated mate. activist for so long and you too mate i really appreciate it no thanks you brother you me every day you know that oh thanks and you too mate and you know we're all doing our part and you know fuck we're all in this together and yeah. like i think a couple of years from now we'll even see even bigger changes we're not going away so absolutely yeah, it will happen eventually, I know that, but it's just not quickly enough. Maybe not a vegan world, but animal rights we can fight for, yeah. you know. We don't have a murder-free human world <laughs> either, so... But animal rights, I think, is definitely something we can strive to achieve, so... I'm sure we'll get there eventually. But in the meantime, these pigs are screaming for their lives while people are waiting around to take action. I've got a lot of respect for you for being oh. vegan for so long and being an activist and you. you know you went through the hardest time it's a lot yeah. easier now so. It is a lot easier now yeah, yeah. so it gives thank you. more freedom to do this. 20 year vegans always make my heart warm. It's a lot harder 20 years ago to be a vegan. No excuses now. Thanks for bearing witness everyone. Okay thank, thank you. you. Thank no worries. Yeah I've seen you but it's cool to see you here. All right. See you guys, thanks for coming in there and witness. Down service. We are one of the top dogs. So of course we'll fix it. You can look up direct teasers. Look at this. Pieces of cow. And this is horrible here. I'm gonna I really don't want to touch this, but look at that. The ears to the hair. And that's a clip where they are, they they clip through their ears to identify the pigs. That was a baby pig. If that was a dog's ear. 
and they were feeding them back to dogs, how outraged would the public be? But pigs is. This here is the height of speciesism. This is what we're talking about. What are these rotting pieces of cows? It smells really bad. Beautiful sentient animals just fed to dogs. Yep, scraps, there you go. The way I do it is picture those being dog bones and fed to dogs. Like when people say, oh, should my dog be eating plant-based? I'm like, would you, would you go up, kill a dog and feed it to your dog? Would you be happy feeding dogs to dogs? No? Then why feed other animals to dogs? What makes that species so much more important that we should have slaughterhouses open just for them? Anyway. Keep it up, you want to get into I started as a chef in a non-vegan kitchen mm. and then started as a vegetarian. I used to see the baby pigs get, not brought in the baby pigs, but their ribs. And he's yeah. thinking, this is an injustice. You know? It's not consistent with your values, so yeah. you found a place that's like makes you more at ease. Okay. Good work, man. Yeah, man. Keep it up. Slaughtered pigs, murdered bodies. It's the price we put on life. Dairy free. Yeah, so what a crazy day out the front of that slaughterhouse. It's so insane that here in the UK they've got so many of these places running and it's one of the easiest places on earth to be vegan. So much beautiful food, beautiful restaurants, amazing vegan alternatives in every single supermarket practically in London and uh, uh, across the board. It's just super easy. Yet we're still raising, killing a billion land animals in this country alone every year. Tearing marine animals out of the ocean by their face and stabbing them in the stomach. It's just so insane. Such selfish, greedy, um, unjustified behavior. And it just never ceases to amaze me when I'm at the, at the front of these places and hearing these animals scream. And then I go for a delicious meal at a vegan restaurant that tastes amazing just makes it even more of an injustice that we have options. Crazy, insane, and saddening. Really sad. Mm. Scan this QR code for 25% discount on Morrison's products. And then one of Virtue's videos come up. Moss Rose Piggeries, I did a video on that. Morrison's supermarket, red tractor approved. Crazy, yeah?